little girl shadow figure. It had happened with my classmates and very true scary story from Bangladesh. It happened when I used to read in school, probably I was in 7th grade. That time I lived in 27th Teskunipara, Pramgate, Dhaka. I was born in that house. Many times we, I mean me, my mom and my sister used to hear a strange sound in our house. The sound used to come from the middle of the dining room. The sound was like someone is opening a door. Like in horror movie we hear when a door opens that kind of sound. We were used to it. But one day one incident happened. I was very upset for some issue. I was crying and I just said if there is any spirit around me please take me with you. I shouldn't have uttered those words. The day after I started hearing someone calling me. It was like my mom's voice and I used to run to my mom and I, I asked mom, did you call me? Mom said, no, maybe you just heard wrong. It happened many times with me. One night me and my sister were about to sleep. We were under a mosquito net. Lights were off. Suddenly we could hear loud sound. It was like many bats were moving their wings and jumping on our net. We got very scared. The next day my mom said, keep our maid with you tonight, let's see. That night we three heard the same sound. I asked our maid to switch on the light. She was brave to switch on and there was absolutely nothing on the net. Only for two days we heard the sound, but the calling my name didn't stop. Still my father was not believing what we felt. After a few days, my father suddenly called everyone. It was noon time. He asked all of us to look into our aquarium and find out our goldfish. We used to have two goldfish but other one died, so one was left. We looked carefully but it was nowhere. The goldfish came back around after two hours. Next day also the same incident took place around the same time. Then my father said something strange is happening in our house. Again, after some days, I saw a shadow of a little girl with a ponytail. She was running from our drawing room and vanished in our corridor. It was daytime when I saw this. I shouted loudly and ran to my mom. Then my father said we should go to church and should discuss it with the father. I was Christian before I got married. Now I am following Islam. Anyways, we went to church and the father said to my parents not to leave me alone, not even in the washroom, and he gave some holy water to sprinkle in our house. After we sprinkled the holy water, that spirit started disturbing more. Still, I feel shaky when I recall my memories. When I opened my eyes, I could hear someone is calling me. And when I closed my eyes, I could feel someone is running and would stop near me. The whole night I couldn't sleep. I still remember it was the next day around 4.45 am. It was two minutes before Fajr Ajan when I heard that voice for the last time. This time the voice was coming from far away. She called my name three times. Until now, I didn't hear the voice again.